hello, good morning, and welcome. My name is Liz, and this is Shot for Shot, the show where I take a shot for every movie in a beloved franchise and then rank them. And today, we will be talking about the Twilight Saga. The worst parts of Breaking Dawn Part 1, putting it in fifth place. The CGI baby, Renesme. And everyone's like, that's, yeah, that's a fine name. It's not, it's a shitty name. The conflict in this movie is so boring and, like, forced. Oh, the werewolves want to kill that baby. Jacob imprinting. I want that baby. Nothing happens in this movie except she gets married and pregnant, which every Bible Belt woman does by 18. It's just the wedding. It's so pretty. Charlie in a tux, crying. He's a good dad. I want that. The greatest feat of this movie is how they managed to make Kristen Bell look even more lifeless than she usually does. Bella panic shaving before she loses her virginity. Hilarious. I don't understand why the point of climax... I don't understand why the most climactic point of this movie is Bella, you know, having a baby and dying. It should be Jacob leaving his own wolf pack. Seth and Leah leaving their own wolf pack. That's, that's the drama I wanted to see. Leah in a wolf pack with her ex-boyfriend who has a new fiance that he called in the face. Why aren't we focused on that? There's gold and then there are literary hills. But no. So Breaking Dawn Part 1. <clears throat> Another shot. I spilled a lot of it. These might be communion cups. Anyway, number four on the list, Eclipse. The worst part about this movie is that I cannot hold the plot in my head. You know why? Because it's boring. It would be lower if it weren't for Jacob Black, Kristen Stewart's wig, Bryce Dallas Howard's wig, Bella saying, I'm Switzerland. Ruined the whole country for me. The vampires swimming from Seattle. It's the fact that I cannot hear Jasper. Best parts. Bella punching Jacob in the face. Rosalie's flashbacks scrumptious. The fact that the man Rosalie wanted to marry assaulted her and then she murdered him in a wedding dress. Unparalleled. Original. It's on my hand. It would be as easy as breathing with me. It would. Jacob's a good guy. Jacob and Bella in the same sleeping bag. Doesn't matter, the conflict is so boring and it's over with in five seconds. You're number four. Ugh. New movie, new shot. The <laughs> Chaim. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> number three, the bitch who started it all, Twilight. I love how brave the choice was to not give any defining characteristics to any of her friends at school. Yes, give us nothing. Robert Pattinson. The fact that they were so mean to the kid who crashed his car. He literally had like a head injury, was bleeding. Bella was unscathed. And Charlie was like, don't talk to me. I'm going to arrest you. I'm going to beat your ass. Edward watches her while she sleeps. Oh, no, thanks. The Collins have four cars. You think they'd be a little more environmentally conscious because, you know, they're on this road for a while. Makes you think. She goes through all the trouble of going to a bookstore to buy a book on vampires, and then she just Googles everything. Gotta save some money. Her saying, a vampire. Endorphin rush. You're like my own personal brand of heroin. Best worst line. Why do the Colons go to school? 
We do the killings go to school. Why don't they just say they're homeschooled? I don't understand. Rosalie says the most the most poignant line of the entire movie. Is she even Italian? In the end, when Edward is sucking the venom out of Bella, Carlisle sat there. <laughs> I don't understand why Carlisle couldn't have just <laughs> Edward, find the will. No! Touch these hands! The best parts of the movie. Anna Kendrick in a wetsuit. Jacob's hair. The waitress at the restaurant saying, let the girl eat her garden burger, Waylon. Charlie being a great dad. Edward catching the apple. They didn't have to include that. Ever? As if he could outrun me. Alice lifting her leg and pitching the softball is queer representation. At the end of the movie, Jacob pops out of the woods because his dad paid him $20 to tell Bella to break up with her boyfriend. Rolling in at number two is Breaking Dawn. The worst part of this movie is the CGI baby. She should be bullied. Bella wakes up from her vampire coma, immediately wants to bang. Like, you have a kid. They're like, it took Rosalie and Emmett a decade to stop having sex. I'm like, yeah, but they're hot. V, v. Jacob Black. He is 17, and he takes all of his clothes off in front of the chief of police, and then turns into a wolf. <laughs> the fact that all of these kids on the reservation are turning into werewolves. They don't have a choice. All their lives are ruined. There's so many of them. It makes me sad. The fact that it's all... Alice's vision. Iconic! It's a vampire battle and no one dies! The fact that it ends with A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. A thousand years. It's a little on the nose. The credits. It rolls through every single actor that was in the whole saga. I'm like, you think I care about James? The fact that Bella becomes a vampire and she's like, everyone was right. You do smell like shit. You imprinted on my daughter? She's a baby! Whenever Dakota Fanning <laughs> and throws a baby into the fire. So what does Breaking Dawn Part 2 have in common with the Hobbit movies? <gasps> That's right, everybody. It's movies I forgot Lee Pace was in! His only character trait is that he hates the British. But I'm so glad he's there. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yes. Number one in the Twilight series, a controversial opinion, is New Moon. Worst parts. Edward takes every photo out of Bella's scrapbook, so it's like he never existed. In the book, Bella goes to her car and tears, like, the radio out with her bare hands. And it's bleeding all over the place. There's so much pain there. And the fact that as soon as Bella comes out of her depression, Mike hits on her. Christ! It's Jacob saying, someone who laughs at the gore who makes other men vomit. Jacob in the rain. It's shot worthy. It's the worst because he's wearing denim shorts, but it's the best because he's hot. Whenever Edward is revealing himself to a large group of people as a vampire, he takes his shirt off so he shines in the sun. But poetically, don't you think he should take his pants off too? Like if you saw a man sparkling, you'd be like, oh, I'm just in a gay club and it's a Tuesday. I just feel like if he really wanted to die, he would have taken his pants off. The the fact that Bella can't guess that Jacob is a werewolf, every single time he comes to talk to you, he comes out of the woods. No! He's a, a werewolf! Stephanie Meyer is like, I can read. The fact that Bella dies, but she's not dead. And then Edward's like, I gotta die. And she's not dead. It's, it's the way that Romeo and Juliet could have ended. Best parts, hallucinations motorcycles. She hallucinates about her ex-boyfriend. Who hasn't? 
Jacob getting his hair cut and a tattoo as a symbol of he's turned into a werewolf. I know I'm not allowed to say he was hot because he was 16. The fact that Stephanie Meyer made up St. Marcus Day. But the Volturi. So dramatic. I love Twilight. But there are a few series that would have been so much more interesting. If Bella had died during labor, we could have had Edward and Jacob raising a baby. Edward, when he was first of Empire, was literally Batman. He killed bad people, vigilante justice. That's so cool! It's just the Civil War with vampires. Rosalie murdering her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> a procedural television show with Carlisle saving people in the hospital. I need a vampire crime family. Yes, I'm rewatching Pushing Daisies. Don't ask! But a show with Lee Pace as a vampire. Ooh. Anyways, that was my order. You can argue with me. Please do in the comments. Argue with me! Thank you so much for watching Shot for Shot with Liz. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. Let me know what franchise I should rank next in the comments. Tune in next week for another episode. As if you could outrun me!